Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Jay Patch OD and today we're going to do something special. Because we're currently in a time of the year known in Ireland as Shocton na Gaelga, Week of Irish, we're going to play an Irish game. We have the option to play it in Irish, which I've decided, uh, sure we'll give it a go, we'll see what happens. So, ooh, what's going on? So, you know, this is just be a fun little thing to do over Shocked in a Gale game between the 1st of March and the 17th, being St. Paddy, Paddy's Day. So we can, you know, just have a little bit of fun, which is the best way to do it, I think, at least. Sure, let's go. Coo, Shadow of the Morrigan. So we have... Oh, what's going on? Is this because they nicked our thing? I'm going to turn that down a bit. Oh, hammer. Oh. Okay, so I can click to move. Let's go through the door. Another loading screen. Very well put together there. Oh, my chair is so squeaky. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Fish, fish, fish. Bip, boop, bip. Oscalga. Who knew bip boop bip in Irish was beep boop bip? I went a little bit Welsh there, I don't know what happened. Oh, there's another robot. Yeah, da -da -da. Come on. Yeah, okay, fuck off with your steam. Steampunk Celtic. It's an odd combination, but I kind of like it. I got a pain in my arm. Why do I have a pain in my arm? Where's my mouse? I don't have a mouse. My mouse has gone walkie. Run through the steam, run through the steam. Yeah. Oh. I was definitely past that steam. Ah. Now, let's just... Do we want it in Irish or English? Because I won't know what's going on if it's in Irish. Turn you down a bit. Oh, oh, that's very nice. I wonder what it says. Uh, let's do this in English. Bye. Talk to Coolan, the engineer, about the alarm. Cool. Hey, Cool, help me out. Okay. The ring of power that provides our source of energy has gone missing and now the generator is completely unstable. Do me a favor, will ya? Pick up that cog and jam it back into its socket. Just press and hold. Right trigger or left mouse button. The cog, pick it up. Get it to coo, she's about to blow. Okay. Are we giving it to him? Oh, in the eye. Whew, that was a close one. I'd best head up to the village right away and let the king know what's happened. Best keep quiet about this coup. We don't want to cause any panic. <laughs> Not that you say much, anyway. Oh, so the silent, stoic protagonist, eh? Oh, and up the lift we go. So, basic, you know, little level one. Nothing too complicated. Loading screen. Okay, yeah, I want to skip the loading screen. Oh. Who are you? Another warm day. Wouldn't mind a bit of rain. My crops don't water themselves. Hey, Koo, why do you always wear that ridiculous war paint on your face? That's a bit harsh. Who are you? A juggler. Marcus. That Aaron never stops moaning about his crops. He needs to find himself a wife. Uwar uwar. He needs to find himself a wife, evidently. Who are you? Saoirse. Happy birthday, Koo! Wow, twelve is really old. I can't even count that far. Hi, Koo. Did Jarla really try to hurt Emer? Everyone says you started the fight, but Emer told me you saved her. God, I've got a backstory. Oh, who's this? Bridget. Not starting any fights today, Koo. 
I've heard that young Jarlath's jaw still locks up when the weather turns cold. Who are you trying to scare with that silly war paint all over your face anyway? You're better off down in that workstation of yours, out of the way. That's a bit harsh. From a, to a twelve-year-old. Potter. Yes, people are complaining about my prices going up, but some of them could do with eating a bit less anyway. Oh, God. Potter's so sassy. Sassy Potter. Sassy Potter. Ooh, hello, dog. Paddy. Nobody seems to be digging my tunes today, and the fountain has stopped running. What gives? Oh, we had a massive explosion downstairs. Over oh, the mechanic. He headed east. Nearly knocked me over in his haste. East. I'm going to presume east is this way. Um. East. East. No. Car. Are there any buttons that I should know? Um. What's this? What are these? Those are um. Ohm carvings, ohm stones, and fairy rings, and magical hand gloves. I'm going to go along to the east. Ooh, hello, Mr. Man. Who are you? Finton. That degenerate old mechanic smashed into my golem in his haste across the bridge, and now it's shut down. He was mumbling profusely about some ring of power. Sounds important. I hope he hasn't broken it, whatever it is. Anyway, I have no idea how to get the golem running again. Uh, what is this? Put that. <gasps> wow! That's it! It seems as if the crystal is the source of its power. Impressive. His accent went all over the, all over the place there. I don't know what happened, but evidently... We're following Mr. Man. Cross the magical flying bridge. Hello, Golem. Tiptoeing like a, a Scooby Doo character trying to hide from the monster. Tiptoe faster, please. Off we go to the east. Ooh. Are you another robot? That is a Oh, who are you? Your drunken boss pleads with the king, Conquabar. Rarely s with the king. Conquabar rarely suffers fools, but for some reason he allows cool in his bubble. Interesting. There's a pain in my arm. Why? I don't. <gasps> Look at the big cow! Hello, cow. You give me anything? whistles. Where? They seem to be getting louder. Run faster, I hear tin whistles. King Hong Kabar has restricted access to the lake at this time. If you have a problem with that, head north and speak with him. Okay. I'm going north. Tin whistles. Business is great. Something that. Business is great. Seems nobody else around here ever learned to cut down a tree. Hello. Whistlist. Brian. Derek says my music helps him concentrate while he works. Look at this little house. Oh, I like that little house. That a magical. I want a magical little house. When I grow up, I want a magical little house. I'm a real boy. Oh, this must be the king's place. You approach King Hongabar. Recall Colin to his pit. And save our king's ears from his inane rambling. Quiet, phone. Coolan, how could you let this happen? Your late father would be ashamed of how recklessly you've treated his responsibilities he handed down to you. It just vanished, my king. One second it was there, and the next, poof! I best stay in case something else happens. If you won't go, then who will come? Our ancestors built this village around the source of energy. The king? 
That expedition from so long ago. They never returned. We know nothing of what lies outside our village's walls. That's a really bad social policy. Well, the druid Cuthbert seems to think that a place may exist far to the north, which may contain a similar ring of power. Anyway, I cannot send my guards for fear of panic breaking out. We haven't much time before the light begin to fade and the generators grind to a halt. Here's a robotic hand. That is so cool. Order must be maintained while fear and uncertainty grip our own. What else? Who else do I have? Who steps forward and raises his hand? Ha ha! We have a volunteer. Cool, keep out of this. My king, he's too young to be wandering around out there. My options are few. I have a man who bears the stench of ale, even at this area. And a boy who has been branded a ruffian who starts fights for others. At least the boy has a fire in him. A passion. But it needs focusing. He's worthless to us here, anyway. Very well, cool. I accept your offer, and we'll send word to the guards immediately. I'll send word to Catherine the Druid. Go now and speak with him. He will provide you with some wisdom for your journey ahead. When you are finished with him, you will need some training before you leave the village. There is one small problem, however. The big old gate that was erected after the failed expedition all those years ago. Nobody from our time has tried to open it. You'll need to find a way to disengage the locking mechanism. Go, Lord. Don't let us down.